Every martial artist will have a special move, a punch, elbow, kick, knee, something very, very cool, that when he lands it, there will be significant damage. And most of the times, that, that's what will win his fight. Business consultants also has their special tools, those techniques or methods that when they utilize them, they're able to achieve insane results. Today I'm going to share with you one of those uh, cool techniques. Now, about two years ago, I created a video on this channel and I show my Sunday routine. The Sunday routine starts with, um, uh, of course, workout in the morning, absolutely, it's a must, and then a cold shower, and then sitting on a very specific uh, recliner in the house, zero noise, and just concentrate on how to manage my business. So there are no emails, no garbage, no kids running around. It's just me and my business, right? So today I am going to share with you how I am doing it using Zo, because Zo is a great tool to run my business. So the thinking time, this time that I am alone with myself, it's a time that needs to be managed in a proper way, step-by-step -step approach. So I can concentrate only on the questions and the answers that I need to produce and not on the path. The path is already there for me. Now, just a side note, there is a great book named The Road Less Stupid. It's an amazing book by Keith Cunningham. And uh, after reading his book, I refined my way. Keith took me to the next level. So today I'm going to share with you the, the complete solution. Now, the thinking time that I'm going to show you today, it's a thinking time that I had about six months ago. And it, it also it op opened me a huge path to, to a new area in my business. As you can see on my screen, I have here the path. I am starting with a result, what, what I like to achieve. What is the goal, right? So I have the, the, uh, the bow and arrow in my hand and I need to shoot it somewhere. If I don't see the goal or the target, there is no way that I will able to achieve anything, right? We, we don't want to be emotional when we're dealing with our business. Then we will have a starting question. Usually it will be a very dumb question, very vague with probably zero ways to, to achieve any good results from it. And then we're going to improve the question to a better question and then a good question and eventually after few refine, few times refining the questions, we will have a great question. And when you have a great question, you can expect a great answer, right? Because we motivate our brain based on the questions. So eventually, once we have a great question, we need to answer the question. So we're going to have the high level result what we are going to achieve once we have this, uh, was, once we answer this great question, then we have the return of investment. The return of investment is really, is it worth it? So if we have the high level result and we, we, we think we know what's involved in creating the solution, the question is, is it worth it? Is the result that we are going to get is worth all the pain that we are going to have in the process, right? And eventually, if it is the case, if it's worth it, then we're going to the to-do, who is involved in this solution, and we always stay on the high level. We don't go into the details. So that's what we're going to do right now. First of all, we're going to start with the required result. What I am trying to achieve from all this craziness that we are going to, to go through in the next few minutes. The goal that I will try to achieve in this session is to create an inexpensive CRM 
that will be a plug and play solution for any kind of business. So this is, this is my goal. I don't know if I will be able to achieve it or not, but that's my goal. Because currently the problem in the market is that businesses need to spend thousands and thousands of dollars in order to create their CRMs. And I want to come with a different solution that will be inexpensive and customizable for any kind of business. So let's write it down. Create an inexpensive CRM solution for any business. Okay, so that's, that's what I'm trying to achieve. Now I need to have my starting question that usually it will be a very bad question. And the question will be, for example, how can I produce an inexpensive CRM? That's how I start the process. Now, as you can see here, the question is very vague and there is a very good chance that my brain will not be able to answer this question because it can go to so many directions. Okay, so that's question number one. Now I need to answer the improved question. The improved question will be, and here on the top you have the previous question that I had, how can I, how can I produce an inexpensive CRM? And now I need to be a little bit more uh, specific, for example, which audiences I am targeting? Is it small business? Is it big business? Who is my target audience? And in this case, I am targeting always small businesses because I like to help small businesses. I don't care so much about the big ones. They already found their path. So let's refine the question. How can I produce an inexpensive CRM for small businesses. That's a better question. And if I'm trying to refine the question even more, I would also say that I like to probably target a location or languages can I, can I write a CRM for markets that I don't know? Probably not. Can I, ans can I create a CRM for industries that I don't know? Probably not. So I need to be more refined with the question so I can, I can specifically target my audience, the people that I can really help because I cannot help any, everyone, right? I'm, I'm very, I'm limited with my knowledge and capabilities. So, how can I produce an inexpensive CRM for small businesses located in North America? I have also good experience in Europe. And and in the Middle East. So those are my locations. And I think this is good. Let's save it. So now when I need my amazing question, and that will be the last question. So it's how can I produce an inexpensive CRM for small businesses located in North America and I would say that the only thing that I, I, I feel like I am missing is the industry. And if I think about myself, probably most of my power will be in the services industry. Uh, so an expensive CRM for small businesses in the service industry located in North America, Europe and the Middle East. So if we look at what we did so far, 
So we have here about four questions. We started with how can I produce an inexpensive CRM? And that was not really a good question. And then it was improved and improved and improved. So now we have a location, we have an area. And I also see here that I am also missing timeline because I don't want to go into a, a, a journey with no end date. So let's also refine it a bit more in the need list. In, let's say that I will need about, in an average CRM will, will take me about, let's say two weeks, I need to create a system out of it, let's say about 400 hours. So let's talk about two months, in two months. And instead of saying in two months, uh, let's say until it will be uh, July 25th, 2020. So that's, that will be my, my, my end game. So that's the goal. So that's good. So now I have a very direct audience where I can actually impact. I have also an end date. So I know where I'm going to and what's the time that I'm going to achieve my results. Let's continue. So now we have the eye level result. The eye level result will be the eye level path to my product, to my solution. In this case, the eye level will be if I'm thinking about other industries, for example, let's say WordPress which is a web website. WordPress magic is that it can have different templates. You can apply a template, a theme on the WordPress and then it's being changed completely. So in my case, Zoe is my template or Zoe is my CRM is the core. And on top of it, I need to apply different templates. Now, with Zo, it's not that easy. You cannot really apply templates because Zo CRM is a relatively easy system to use, so we can apply templates. But Zo CRM is only one of 45 applications, and a good solution will include lots of different systems Zo campaigns, Zo bookings, and so on and so on. So, it will not be that easy. So probably my solution will not be a template. It will be a template plus installation and some customization for the client. So I will not be able to make it extremely inexpensive, but it will be for sure less expensive and faster than doing it custom. Okay, so one, it will be a template based solution. Uh, built on Zo CRM or Zo One, I would say. The solution will be copying a CRM customization. Uh, my dyslexia is kicking in. Copying a CRM customization to the client plus um, custom work on the client account. And that will be really the eye level. And I think that's good. Now, let's see what else we need here. We have the templating. The template will be copied from my system to the client system. And we need also to do also integration work. Integration with integrate CRM with the other ZO one services. Okay. So that's really the eye level. Now let's see what will be the return of investment. If I will do it, is my business is going to benefit 
from this work because we're talking about two months of work. Two months of work equals to $30,000 worth of, of effort or $40,000 worth of effort. Is it worth it? And I, I do think that it will be worth it because once I will have those templates, I can have some kind of an e-commerce store and then people can, or clients, can go to the store, they can buy different products and we will install it for them. So it will not be as easy as WordPress that you just need to click a button and it's installed, but it will take few hours and not few weeks or months. So I, I think that, that this solution is going to produce um, something that is currently not in the market and from the other side uh, it will also not be expensive so I'm able to produce for my clients because the client needs it's what's the most important and we're in the corona area era corona era that people do not have money so we need to have inexpensive solutions and also we need to be very fast so it will be a fast solution, inexpensive, and it will not require for me to create a new business. It's just another line, line of products. And uh, in terms of capabilities, my business knows how to create products. So I think that in the return of investment, which I have three options, uh, I think that it's, damn, yeah, I'm in. Okay. So that's, that's good for me. And now the last part is the, the eye level. And the eye level is really sitting with, with a uh, Zoho writer and starting to create the eye level plan, which employees are going to be involved in the process, specifically creating a Zoho project and starting to assign tasks to pe for people. So this is really... Um, the way that I'm producing the thinking time, every thinking time, as you can see, will have a number, which is a question. And I can tell you that most of the thinking time eventually are dead. So I, I don't take action with most of them because eventually in the return of investment, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to spend so much time on, on producing this result. So as you can see, it was a very, very simple blueprint. You can do it yourself easily. It's just few transitions with two few questions. Very, very simple. I really, really, really hope that you will take the, this video and, and you will implement it in your business. I hope that you will take your Sundays or Mondays or just small segment of a day that you are totally disconnected from all the noise, cell phones, emails, whatever it is, and just concentrate on running your business because your business needs a CEO and this is you, okay? No one else will do this work for you. So that was the way that I am doing uh, the, the thinking time. This is how I am running my business. If you have a different way to run your business, I will appreciate if you shoot it in the comments so everybody will be able to learn from it and all of us can get more education and more knowledge because we need to become more than what we are, right? So thank you very much for watching this session. If you like it, thumbs up, give me some love. If you have any questions, anything that is not proper for you, shoot it in the comments or even if you want to have different type of uh, experience on this channel. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next session.